very, very beautiful model. I like this. I'm impressed. Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to Hearns TV. And it's me, Dan. I'm back again. And uh, we're gonna do an unboxing today of a kit that I think is super, super cool. And today we are going to be taking a look at the MH60L Blackhawk. Um, this one is from the movie Black Hawk Down. As you can see on the side of the box here, it has all of the markings for Super 6, one, two, three, and four that were in that film. Now, MH, we'll talk about that for just a quick moment. Now, the UH-60 Black Hawk came about um, as a result of the end of the Vietnam War when the UH, during that war, the UH-1 Huey was the standard issue um, battle taxi for the US Army and even started off as their first attack and fire support helicopter. But even though it served very, very well, the limitations of its design were quite apparent by the end of the, of the conflict and they needed something larger faster with a heavier that could carry a heavier payload and that's how the uh 60 black hawk came about they first started designing it in 1974 i think and entered operational service in 1979 and is now consequently completely phased out the um the huey in the u.s army uh service although the u.s marines still use the uh1 the uh1y venom now MH-60L, the MH means uh, that it has been enhanced for special missions, in particular for the fast insertion and extraction of special forces troops. It has uh, enhanced uh, sensors as well as uh, forward-looking infrared and uh, various other uh, avionics that uh, make it just that little bit better than the standard issue UH-60 and the uh, fast rope attachments on either side of the helicopter uh, give it uh, much better insertion or uh, capability for troops. It also carries heavier guns as well. So let's have a look at this kit. Excellent artwork, excellent artwork as you can see. Love that. Kitty Hawk models. Um, unfortunately, Kitty Hawk models are no longer with us. They went out of business, I think about 12 months ago. And it is a shame because they have quite a few really good kits, this being one of them. So let's have a look, shall we? 35 scale, which is the perfect scale for helicopters, if you ask me. Now, this is a big kit, as you can see, big chunky pieces on the fuselage. Move this so you can see. Yes, here we have the fuselage. UH-60 or MH-60, as I said, larger than the UH-60. So it's got a big, much bigger crew compartment. Um, I don't know if you can see this, if the camera can actually do this justice, but along with all of the panel lining here along the fuselage, there's also tiny little rivets that uh, show where it's all bolted in. Now that's exceptional detail, that's impressive detail. Um, the rivets are actually recessed in to the kit. So they're not protruding out like they would on a real helicopter, but that's actually a good thing because when you add the weathering um, to highlight all of these details, it'll sink in really well. And um, anything that brings out the detail, especially in a kit is always a good thing. But let's, let's look at that. Nice, big, beefy 35 scale kit. That's gonna look fantastic once it's completed. All right, now, now we've had a look at the fuselage, the instructions. Beautiful presentation on the instructions, nice and colorful, the same picture that's on the front. And here it outlines all of the parts. Black and white, easy to read. Um, don't have the little highlight, little um, colored parts to show which parts go where, but that's all right. Cause this just, it, it's too cool. Oh, well, there's a little darkened parts here and here on the interior of the helicopter where the seating would go for all of the passengers. Um, oh, also one thing about this kit, you can make the MH60L, but there is also parts in here for the MH60L DAP variant, which is uh, a defensive armored one that has stub wings with very uh, with uh, Hellfire missiles, rocket pods, 
and big guns, mini guns. The most of the crew compartment is uh, it doesn't carry crew. Uh, sorry, it doesn't carry passengers. But the crew compartment in the rear is reserved for enormous amounts of ammunition. And let's keep looking. Ah, yes. Inside the floor of where the this is where the pilot and co-pilot would sit, and then in the rear where the crew is, and then putting all the interior together. More of the crew compartment, and then the overhead. Getting to the engines, but let's, ah, and that's when the interior meets the fuselage and the rotor blades on top. Ah, this is the part I wanted to get to. Here's where you have all of the decals and the color for the different variants. Now, this page here, that rear part doesn't actually match that part. What you do is you pull this out and you have it off to the side. So that rear of that helicopter actually matches the front here. So when you pull it out and turn it over, but beautifully colored, as you can see, yeah, this is the more heavy, the more heavy gun variant with uh, the rocket, rocket pods on the side and the mini guns sticking, sticking out the side for purposes of support, uh, support fire for the troops that they have inserted. And another thing that I like about this is it comes with soldiers, the uh, crew that disembark from the, uh, from the uh, actual helicopter, like in the movie Black Hawk Down. So you can add them for, if you're going to make a diorama. That was a very pleasant surprise when I opened this actually. And here they are. Let's have a look, see. Here they are, here's the crew. Oh, sorry, not the crew, but uh, the soldiers. Um, they have them kneeling down with the, the M14. Like if you remember in the movie, where um, they were inserted and were providing covery fire to try and keep back the uh, the Somalis from uh, grabbing the the crew members that have been shot down. And there's the MP5. Excellent, excellent details. Very impressive. Now let's have a look at the more chunky parts. And, <clears throat> pardon me, on the inside here, we'll start with that. This is where the uh, pilot and co-pilot sit here. And here we have in the rear where all of the soldiers will be seated. Now you'll have the tie down sections where you can bolt down things like cargo and uh, even stretches for injured, uh, injured servicemen. The doors and the nose area of the helicopter and here we have all of the buttons and dials and all of the instrumentation for the pilots up the front very beautiful very very beautiful model i like this i'm impressed and now we have the upper parts of the engine where the rotor blades would attach and the air intakes here we have the inline refueling probe which actually wasn't on the front in the box, but uh, the refueling probe was added to the MH60 uh, in later variants, in particular the uh, DAP, the heavy gun version. So a little extra for if you choose to do that one. Personally, if I was gonna put this together, I'd do the heavy gun version because nothing says fun like a great big attack helicopter. And more here, the side doors. There's all these little bits that you will have to trim off for from the molding for when you're uh, putting this together. And then you have the, uh, the rear blades for the tail rotor, which is where it got damaged and uh, made it crash in the movie. Helicopters make that uh, called choppers because of the noise of the rotor blades. And um, what that noise is, is the noise of the rotor blades and the noise of the tail rotor hitting each other. And that's why it has that uh, specific chop, chop, chop sound. I don't know if you've noticed this, but in some helicopters actually have their tail, uh, tail rotor inside the tail. Um, 
and they make significantly less noise. They make more of a whirring noise, actually. And then we have, let's see, turn this over. Ah, there we go. More of the, uh, these are the uh, near the tail section to help move it around and more of the internals. And now this is another thing that impressed me when I first looked at this. Actually, I'll take this out of the plastic so you can see just a little better. The rotor blades at the very top, like I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see, but they actually have a little bit of a bow in them, a little bit of sag like that, which is uh, what happens to helicopters when they've stopped, their rotor blades actually sort of sag down a little bit because of the, the overall weight, which adds a lot of realism to the kit. I like that a lot. And then we have more of the internals, the landing gear, or landing gear, or the wheels. And now, now the super fun part. The Hellfire missiles, the door guns, that's a 50 cal right there. And there's even a 30 millimeter auto cannon uh, and some of the ammunition belt there. Rocket pods, yeah. Attack helicopters are just so cool, aren't they? And another thing that I like about this is you get photo etched parts with this kit. Let me just... And here on the photo etched parts, we have the ammunition feed for all of the guns, just to add that little bit more detail and that little bit more realism. This is excellent. That is a very welcome addition, I must say. And then we have all of the belts for the crew along there. And we have, also have belts and harnesses for the rear seats there. And they've even included rope for when they fast rope down uh, and to insert into the combat zone. They've um, really put a lot of effort into, into this kit. The details in this are really extraordinary. I'm very, very impressed with this. Once again, it's a real shame that Kitty Hawk models are no longer around. They've um, done quite a good job here. Move that. And now the decal. They've even, I'll take that. gone to the effort of getting all of the individual names of the helicopters that were used during Black Hawk Down for Super 6-1 and uh, all of the comrades that went flying in there, all of the specific details that the, uh, the army boys had painted onto the helicopters. Excellent. Very impressed. I like this kit. I'm very impressed with this kit. Um, we've only got the one in uh, stock at the moment it's the last one if you can get your hands on this i suggest you do it quickly in fact if you can get your hands on any kitty hawk model um, i suggest you do it quickly because they probably won't be around for too much longer but excellent yes well worth well worth the purchase price and i think that any serious aircraft modeler would super enjoy this one uh, and you'll be as, just as impressed as i am so guys thanks very much for tuning in to hearns tv again and uh, checking out what I've got to show you. I always like making these videos. I don't try and uh, make them too long, keep them short and sharp. So uh, yeah, they don't bore you too much with all of the details, but cool, cool. All right, once again, thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in store soon. And as always, rock and roll. <laughs>